Hello Princesses, it's me Sponge964 and this is Cyndaquil and welcome back to Metroid Up M where we're going to be continuing from uh, where we lost off last time which is in Sector 1 and we're going to be trying to get the remainder of the items in Sector 1 and the items within the bio thingy. It's actually quite early in the morning. I've only really woken up, I mean, I've, well not really, I've, I've had breakfast, so, you know, I've woken up for at least 5 or 10 minutes, but, you know, probably a little bit longer, actually. Okay, let's get started. Let's have a look. Oh yes. Oh yes, there's so many items left. Let's throw through the wall. There's one that went this way. But now that we have the currency, we should be able to get this item. Speed boost around the water. Get it off! Will these guys respawn or something? Oh, there's like 50 of them down here. Now loading. Oh, it's down here, you know, it's how close it was. Okay, so we'll get 
work our missiles so we can... No, I didn't do it at the right time. I just have to be quick with this one, by the way. And there you go, I've got the last energy pack. The en large energy thing, even. Part. Now we can just space jump our way to the next place, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave the bio research area. I think that's what it's called, the bio weapon research center, to last, and I'll get these items over here on this side of the map. Okay. Hopefully, no, we don't need to save right now. There's one back down there though. like a vent here no it's not okay So we're gonna look around on the floor. Hopefully we find it anyway. Oh, it's right above me, of course it is. That's why you would want to look around in first person, because you never know. That's also kind of why I like this game so much, because it, it evolves so much, you have to you don't just have to play around in, in third person. You have to you have to look around in first person too, because this is important. Now, this is literally my favorite Metroid game because of all the because of it's just so well made, and yet nobody likes it because of the epic story. But I feel like, but I feel like they really did do a good job with the story, honestly. I'm being generous when I say that. I'm being honest. So this is this is the most amount of story I've ever ever seen in a Metroid game. Okay, 
Okay, here's something we couldn't really get because we had to get the missile tank. Well, not the missile tank, but the wave beam. We. Anyway, I, will, I, I wish more Metroid games were like this game. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to run along here. Because they made a nice path for you so you could like follow it. Okay, so we're gonna uh, run up this hill. <laughs> Wait, is this another energy fart? Oh, this is an e-recovery e e thing, which makes it so we actually get more health when we use concentration. The thing is, like, the game never tells you how many of them you have, which is interesting. Okay, I think that was the last item though. Yep, 100% completed. Almost. We just need to get the bio research center done. So the bio, the bio weapon research center. Okay, I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so we're back in now. So yeah, I ran all the way to this area, and we're all the way on the other side of the world now. <laughs> I love doing, I love doing that. Anyway. Yeah. Fire weapon research center. Okay, there's only really two items over here. power-ups. I only need two power-ups, but that's a lot, even still. So I'm going to use this navigation move to, like, get my health back up, because I did take a little bit of damage, which I know isn't a lot, but whatever, I'm going to get healed anyway, because being healed is good. Now I can just jump into them. Boom! It's amazing what you can do with <laughs> Anyway, it's amazing what you can do with this. Just a space this the, the screw attack even. Your game they should really make um a, like a Metroid Prime remastered. That's what they should do. They should remaster Metroid Prime. 
like the entire series or something. That would that would get someone in there because I, I mean I've never played the game myself, but like I hear it's good. So you know if it's good, then why not make more of it? Maybe a HD remastered of this game. And there you go, I've got every single item in the game. We've now 100% completed this game. Kind of. There's one more boss to defeat, but we've got literally everything there is to get. Anyway. Let's get out of here. Wait, is Ridley still here? No, apparently he's not. Well, that actually is kind of a hint to um, Net Metro Fusion. Yeah, we've got all six, 80 missile tanks, all. All. Um, how many. How many. Um, energy tanks is that? Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it nine? Yeah, it's nine. So we need. So we got nine out of it. Four of those were from energy parts, by the way, and five. The other five were just, I think, energy tanks. So if I do the math out, so let's see, there's seventy missile tanks plus sixteen energy parts plus and six charge thingies plus five thingies and then there's three um, of those e-recovery tanks so yeah that's 100 percent so there's literally exactly 100 items in the game which is interesting but whatever so yeah we did one get every item 100 percent We still haven't complete 100% completed the game. We still have to get. Every, there's still one more boss to defeat. But yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, boop.